Hey y'all, it's Miss Katie. Welcome to Heritage Ways. And this, y'all, is the biggest, I'm not lying, y'all, this is the biggest Amish haul I have ever made. It's big. It, it's a lot. I've got a table full of non-food items, and I've got one, two, three, four boxes and two bags in the floor of food items. I really want you to see what I got today, and, well, let's get started. Heritage Ways is where we honor our home, celebrate heritage, and spread hope. We love and appreciate y'all. Everybody is welcome here. We just love everything home, homemade, homespun, and the idea of home. Through the years, I have had to be, have had to be, and then there's times I just chose to be very frugal in my um, living, my homemaking. I'm Miss Katie, the mom to three adults, children, three littles, whom we adopted, and we're very blessed by adoption in our lives. Well, as you can imagine, having said that, um, Christmas has always had to be a frugal time as well. So uh, in this haul, I did get a few Christmas items uh, we like to do. I'm one of those moms that does the practical things. You need toothpaste? Okay, wait, it's Christmas is coming. But also, um, the kids, uh, we just finished the full-time RV life, and before that, we had to get rid of a lot of things, and um, craft items were one of those things that we had to kind of throw away or divvy up or whatever, get rid of. So I bought some craft. Well, let me just show you. First, let me tell you about the canning jars. These are ball canning jars. I got a dozen uh, <clears throat> wide mouth pint for $10.99. And then, okay. this is what I was actually looking for, some half gallons. So for $10.50, I got six half gallons. And I use these to store things in the larder, in the pantry, and so forth. The cat litter. Now, we don't have cats, but this is what I use to um, dry up old paint in paint cans and properly dispose of it. So I just tell you that as a home tip. Got these Duraflame logs for $2.50 a piece, indoor, outdoor. That's, we'll just say those for emergency needs. As far as fuel, I got these propane tanks, two of these. Um, we use those for the camp stove, or we did the other day when the electricity went out, and Mr. Patient always uses these. Um, <clears throat> as a side note, I like that Coleman is made in the, is an American product. $4.25 is not an amazing price, but as you know, I don't shop at Amazon or Walmart, and the cheapest price I found online was Walmart, and I don't shop there. Keep in mind, too, that, that Amish stores, basically, is pretty much the only place I shop. So it's a one-stop shop, or well, two or three different stores, but I don't have to go into big town or anything, and it's just nice to get some things as I see them uh, at the Amish stores. All right, I foresee a lot of lost gloves this winter, and plus we're not necessarily accustomed to having gloves and keeping up with gloves and needing gloves. So I bought several um, pairs, different sizes, different kinds for $1.75 a piece. These lady ones are $3.50 a piece. <clears throat> Some of those might be Christmas gifts as well. Mousetrap because I need to have that in the larder. I got this for myself for 79 cents. Not that I take medications. I do not take any medication, never have on a regular basis. But I've always wanted one of these because I can put my vitamins and supplements and, and things like that. And I'm, I'm starting a new vitamin regimen that I'm excited about. And I can use this. I'm, all right, I do have some items called HBA, Health and Beauty Aids. Some of these are, um, I'll send to my grandchildren. We're expecting our third grandchild. So I got a couple of these for my grandchildren. Um, natural products. This, all this is for my grandchildren. This I bought. Now, um, you know, if you've been here long, you know that we use homeopathy and other things for illnesses and for health. But I bought this because... It was $1.75, doesn't expire till sometime next year, and I was watching a video not long ago, um, actually it was Patriot Nurse, and she talks about natural things, but also having some of these type things on hand, if necessary, or if you want them. Um, I didn't think it would hurt, it's $1.75, to have this 
if we decide that that's something that we want to use at some point. All right, so here we have um, the dishwasher detergent for $9.95 over here. Remember what I said, too, about, um, you know, I don't go to the big box stores or anything like that, so I, I don't know the price comparison. I used to know all that stuff, but at least I can get it in a one-stop shop, and the Amish are benefiting the good local people. Another one of these for the pantry, $1.25. Now, I got the baby oil for $0.85 cents because I have some craft um, and some beauty product things that call for baby oil. Got an assortment of Band-Aids and, and bandages and things like that to add to my um, first aid kit. Coming over here, these will be gifts either to my grandchildren or my children. We've had these before, and they work really well. And honestly... Um, a couple of times this little tab right here has broken and this company gives you, sends a new tab if you just let them know, send them a picture and let them know it broke. So we've been pleased with these little cups. So I was glad to find these for $4. Um, those, we used those a lot when we traveled. Freezer bags for four, uh, $4.89 for 120 of them. Congratulations to me. I have two children who are now experiencing acne for the first time. So I got this lemon juice toner to help them, one for each of them. I got these for, um, actually Little Music Man is getting these for Christmas because he, y'all, he is so appreciative of a bathtub now. We didn't have one for two years and he, when we looked for a house, he said, I just want a bathtub. So that is for him. And then I've got razors that I use probably less than I want to admit. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be a Christmas present, a little calculator, because they're always looking for mine when they are figuring up their totals for their games and things, their board games, card games. I've got glue for crafts. I've got scissors. I've got a little stapler for $0.79. Cents. I thought they would enjoy doing that because they do, two of them at least, love to do crafts. And so I thought that would be good for them. And then notebooks. We're always needing notebooks. And John Boy and I especially like these type of steno-type writing tablets. All right. Now, um, for Little Music Man for Christmas, I got him these roller blades that turn into their roller skates, and they have the blades, so they're like two-in-one kind of thing. So I got those for him for $32. For Christmas gift, I got these soap pads, uh, soap, two soap pads, two steel wool pads. The reason I got the steel wool pads is because you can put these in holes. If you've, I know for one downstairs that we have a hole from the outside. It's a, it's a, um, it's a hole that mice can get in. So you stuff this in the hole if you don't otherwise repair the hole, and mice cannot get in. They can't eat through steel wool. Back in two farmhouses ago, we did this under the sink where we had some holes coming in certain places, and that worked. So, some natural detergent, some not natural <laughs> cleaning products, uh, these two Brillo um, cleaning products, and then some dusting spray, it's at 95 cents. I um, was excited to find this because it's not cheap, and I was kind of wanting some to clean my silver trays that I got out of storage. So, $1.99 for some tarnish remover. Stocking up on batteries is never a bad idea, so I got these boxes uh, ranging from $9.95 to $11.40. Um, so there's several in there. And Mr. Patient asked me to make sure we were stocked up on batteries. Also, this is one of the things that was found wanting the other day when our lights went out. So I got another one of these headlamps for $9.99. Mr. Patient also asked me to stock up on matches, so I got long ones and boxed ones, 75 cents. I like these little Epsom salt packets, uh, 89 cents each, and they're good for about three baths that uh, Little Music Man and I like to use, and Little Missy. I also have these hand warmers and toe warmers. I got several of these for 50 cents a piece. Um, these may come in handy. So they are um, last up to seven hours and then the toe warmers last up to five hours. So we might, um, we'll put those down in our larder, our emergency uh, stash if we ever need those. These are Christmas gifts for the littles, 50 cents a piece for fidget spinners. They 
do like to have those. This is for John for Christmas. Wooden brain teasers, four fifty. And the last thing right here, of course, is more tissue, ninety five cents a piece for the Kleenex brand. I bought these for Mr. Patient. Now we don't have a microwave here. We have no plans of getting a microwave because of health reasons. But he has one at work. So I got these so that I could make, um, these are the Systema brand, made in New Zealand, PBA free. So they're supposed to be better for you when you put them in the microwave. So I got four of these. And what I thought I might do is make up like breakfast bowls that he could take to work and refrigerate, um, microwave and eat them because he opens the store. So he can take them and microwave them and that way um, he'll have his fast breakfast and we won't have to have a microwave here. I can't pronounce that word. Phthalate. Phthalate. Um, and then these, I got two of these so that I thought I could make um, lunches for him or he can make and then, you know, you can have your little either dressing there or something. Anyway, lunch boxes for Mr. Patient. For starters, little Missy was requesting very crunchy peanut butter, so $10.50 for two of these large Jeff containers of peanut butter. Uh, I have found lately that it's easier on me, especially I have a teenager who eats about 16 meals a day, <laughs> and they like these packets. This particular stage in my life, um, I'm going with the packets because you have to do the best you can and give yourself grace. Typically, I would not buy these. I would never buy, never say never, I would not buy these in a big box store because I don't even know how much they'd be. But for 99 cents, I have these oatmeal and grits packets that the kids can use for snacks. So for now, that helps me out. I got this. I thought this was kind of fun to get uh, this Pennsylvania Dutch Old Fashioned Shoe Fly Pie Mix. For 99 cents. So I'm going to have a pie for 99 cents. Um, I'm thinking of even doing a video of when I make it. Because I've heard of shoe fly pie and I'm familiar with it. I've read about it in the cookbooks. But a box for 99 cents. This, again, we rarely, rarely eat jello. But I have a couple of recipes that I use at Christmas time that call for jello. So I thought I would got, get it in bulk here at $2.95. On the back it tells me how to make one you know, small amounts, and that way I'll just put it in a jar and I'll have it, okay, uh, white sugar, I, I can, I, we don't consume that, I do sometimes use it in my, um, um, kombucha, but I bought this to have it for kombucha if I need it, but also as part of my Christmas decoration, so I'll have to show you that down the road as we go along the season. This again is something I don't keep on hand necessarily, but I'm buying it to have for Christmas baking. These two things are for the kids gingerbread houses, decorations. Dark raisins, didn't mean to get two. I'm realizing I got two, didn't mean to do that. Um, Sucanat is um, a natural sugar, $2.99 for two pounds. Elbow macaroni, two pounds for $1.99. I plan on making, I, I keep this in bulk down in the larder, but also I am filming this before Thanksgiving, and I plan on making, for my side of the family's extended Thanksgiving gathering, I'm making uh, macaroni and cheese from this video that w we made back in the first of the year. So delicious. Love that recipe. Spaghetti, which actually we're having for supper tonight. Veal Parmesan for supper with no tall salad. So I'm going to use that spaghetti, one of them. I got four of these with the mindset of if the electric, to have ready to eat meals. So I'm trying to think more about doing that if electricity and water or one or the other went out. Ready to eat meals that I don't have to cook. And so this is a sun dried tomato infusion tuna. So it sounded good to me. 20 grams of protein in this little cup for 35 cents. Same lines of, because you can tell I'm still thinking about the electricity going out the other day. Instant coffee, two kinds of instant coffee, and this half and half creamer, because this is something I was wishing I'd had the other day so that I wouldn't have to open my refrigerator or open a whole 
can of evaporated milk. And quite frankly, I do like cream in my coffee. Yes, I can drink it without it, but that's nice to have those shelf-stable creamers. Peanut M&Ms in this house are used at Christmas time for, um, I mix those with popcorn. So that's a nice, simple treat. I've even have it, had it for my open houses. Put it in a nice glass bowl or serving dish or something with a scoop. And it's just a fun thing to eat. Eleven seventy-five for 62 ounces, uh, almost four pounds of peanut M&Ms. Two containers of Nesquik chocolate flavoring. I bought that for the kids to have as hot chocolate. It's really designed for chocolate milk, but um, $7.99 for 85 servings in each one. Ketchup, I always just pick up a ketchup or so when I every time I go so I can have it in the larder. $1.59. Four cans of pumpkin, Walnut Creek brand, $1.05 each. This is um, just chicken, water, and salt. No other added things in it. I like to get these for um, uh, six of them, six cans for eleven twenty-five. So I really like to have this down in the larder because um, it doesn't have the added stuff in it. So I love these crunchy noodles on a salad, and I was thrilled to find two containers of these at sixty-five cents a piece. I use these specifically for my prize winning, no joke, prize winning chicken cranberry salads in my cookbook. I do not give that recipe out publicly. There's three or four that I don't give out. But anyway, I use either sliced or slivered almonds for that. 50 cents a bag. I got four of these at 75 cents a piece. The detox apple cider vinegar. I don't know if y'all have seen these at the store, but they're... Uh, insanely priced at the grocery store. I don't know, uh, several dollars. So these are good just to have shots, you know, if you are not home or if you're traveling or whatever, to have a shot of, um, this is cinnamon apple cider vinegar. So especially good this time of year for your body. And speaking of good for your body, the last two things I want to show you. I was kind of excited to find this maca root organic now, you might not have heard of it. This is two pounds for five fifty. so you should look it up and see that this is a good deal. Gluten-free, vegan, organic, and this is good in um, smoothies. It's so, so very good. Increases energy levels and helps with adrenal function. Uh, if you're a trim, healthy mama, if you follow that eating lifestyle, they have some recipes in there for maca root. This is going to last forever in our house. And then for $4.50, I got some vitamin C, the good kind, ascorbic acid. Out of curiosity, I'll just tell you, it doesn't expire until April 2023, so that's good. That's really good. Uh, free of added sugar, soy, dairy, yeast, gluten, additives for $4.50 and um, five, uh, 500 grams. So I'm not... I don't use the metric system, so I don't know what that's equivalent to, but it feels like a pound or so. I don't know. And then lastly, I have um, 35 pounds of pure frying oil. Now, this is soybean oil. I don't typically buy that. I don't buy canola. I don't buy vegetable. But I thought it might be a good idea to buy this. It's $20, and I would have that. Uh, it's four and a half gallons, 35 pounds, and then I would just have it in the larder if I ever needed it in a situation where I couldn't get out or I needed it, so. Well, if you, if you stayed with me this far, thank you so much. I know this was lengthy, but this was um, quite a haul this time. So tell me what's your favorite thing that I got or what is your uh, surprise? It surprised you that I found. I'd really like your feedback on this. I was really excited to find everything that I found. I felt good about the prices. I felt good about I didn't have to go to a big box store. And while I was there too, I ordered uh, five bags, five types of beans, dried beans, 25 pounds each. So 125 pounds of beans I ordered because I've got um, some tubs. I ordered um, some more red five-gallon uh, tubs from Uline that I mentioned to y'all the other day. 
And so I've got those five tubs that I'm going to put the beans in when I pick them up. So five different varieties of dried beans. I will never have to dry five by a dried bean again. But I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying nesting. I'm enjoying just um, building a home again. You know, our RV was our home and I enjoyed that, but I'm just enjoying building that uh, larder up. And I hope you are trying not to stress. I hope you uh, have faith over fear. And I hope you will just give grace to yourself. I have to remind myself of that regularly too. But thank you for being here, y'all. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna put all this up where it goes. And eventually I'm gonna give you a larder and a pantry and root cellar tour if you're interested. Thanks a lot. I love y'all and I really do appreciate your being here. Bye-bye.